Praying mantises are incredible creatures. In this account, we'll learn about these insects on steroids that make an Alien vs Predator movie look rather tame. Discover what the master hunters can do and be prepared to be inspired by the greatness of an invertebrate. Whether pretending to be a flower, eating birds, or going on fishing trips, mantises are astounding. Number 10. They eat birds. Praying mantises are voracious hunters. In fact, they can capture and subdue some unlikely and substantial prey types that are simply incredible for an insect, even a large one. The strength and speed of a praying mantis allows it to make disproportionately challenging kills that would be far beyond the reach of many hunting species. Did you know that these mere insects have killed and consumed birds, bats, mice, and frogs? Praying mantises, they eat birds, and this is not a freak occurrence, but one that is literally widespread. Praying mantises have been recorded in acts of insect on bird predation on all of the Earth's continents save, of course, for Antarctica. National Geographic describes documentation by the Wilson Journal of Ornithology of 147 cases of mantises eating birds in 13 different countries. The gruesome attacks involved 12 mantis species and 24 bird species. Hummingbirds were popular targets despite their speed being ambushed most successfully because they are so small. Disturbing is the way that a mantis feeds, often starting with the head. In hummingbirds, heads were pierced and brains gorged upon by hungry mantises. The Wilson Journal of Ornithology concluded that the popular practice of purchasing and freeing mantises for pest control should be approached with great caution, especially for large species, given the threat to birds. Number 9. Some look like flowers. Praying mantises are supposed to be green in popular imagination, but their means of camouflage prove that evolution is truly remarkable. For example, some of the most formidable and ferocious mantis species look for all the world like a flower in full bloom. The orchid mantis Hymenopus coriantus must be seen to be believed. It might be the most shocking case of aggressive mimicry on the planet. Orchid mantises are not camouflaged to blend in with flowers. The truth is actually much more sinister. They appear to be a flower, albeit an especially appealing one, and are visited by prey more often than real flowers, and they can make more kills. Native to Southeast Asian forests, orchid mantises are uncommonly found but have been discovered and misunderstood far back in the history of exploration. During an 1879 visit to West Java, James Hingston, a traveling writer, thought he had found a carnivorous plant, describing the mantis as follows. I am taken by my kind host around his garden and shown, among other things, a flower, a red orchid that catches and feeds upon live flies. It seized upon a butterfly while I was present and enclosed it in its pretty but deadly leaves as a spider would have enveloped it in network. Number 8. Mate Eating Yes, the love life of praying mantises isn't really about happy ever after. Often it's more like, I loved you, I mated with you, and then I ate you. At least often enough to make natural history headlines with regularity. Mate eating by praying mantises is is more common in laboratory settings than in the wild, but nevertheless, biological rationale for the behavior exists. Eating a male allows nutritional value to be gained that assists in egg case production, meaning that even if eaten, the male may enjoy increased reproductive success in passing on his genes by making a nutritional donation of his body. Females may benefit significantly. Research published by the Proceedings of the Royal Society indicates that mate-eating females laid 51 more eggs than those who treated their mates with a little more respect. Respect. The 51 more eggs represent an increase of 25% over regular egg clutches. Furthermore, the male's characteristics were more strongly represented in the young of mate eaters. Why? Well, because being eaten by a female means that 17.7% .7 more of the male's amino acids and related biological matter ends up in her ovaries and eggs, in a way making him live on more strongly in the next generation. Number 7. Death by Dead Leaf The dead leaves on the forest floor in Southeast Asian rainforests may contain among their ranks a dead leaf that that is actually a Deroplates iobate, the logically named deadleaf mantis. This species of mantis is equipped with all of the awesome hunting and dispatch armament of a typical mantis, but it has flattened body parts that make it look like an old leaf. Even the tears and rumples of a dead leaf are copied. The throat is flatter than usual, and the wings are flat and expansive. The mottling that a leaf should have is present. Then there are spots and speckles that resemble the mold and mildew on a decaying leaf. Finally, the veins of a leaf that are part of a typical harmless leaf adorn the wings, further deceiving potential prey ensuring that they never see anything more than leaves until it's far too late. 
Below all the deception are sharp barbs on the forelegs perfect for taking down prey with lightning speed. The mantis is hard to breed in captivity, and unlike many of the more frequently kept species, is extremely delicate in its requirements, particularly around humidity and temperature. Number 6. They grow to insane sizes Mantises, especially the stick mantis species, can reach enormous weights or lengths. Some mantises are remarkable for their mass and overall huge size, but they're not the longest. Other mantises are skinnier, but hold records for sheer length. Giant shield mantises may approach nearly 5 inches in length, giving them a good size advantage in hunting. But they are pretty short compared to stick mantises. Stick mantises are less massive, but make up for it by reaching an incredible length of just under 8 inches. The members of the genus Toxodera are gigantic, crane-like mantises that patrol Asian habitats. In Africa, giant stick mantises of the genus Heterocaeta may exceed 6 inches in length. These are some seriously big bugs. Number 5. Their vision is unique and superb Mantises have exceptional vision that is not only remarkable in the insect world, but unique in the animal kingdom. Research published in the journal Current Biology explains that praying mantises enjoy a great advantage in hunting, which requires exceptional depth perception to strike accurately at varying distances. Praying mantises' vision involves a distinct type of 3D perception of surroundings, especially potential food, thanks to their huge eyes that have become the focus of much research. A statistical minority of animal species have stereoscopic vision, including most mammals, humans among them, and the bird order that comprises owls. But mantises they are striking for two reasons. First off, an insect having such advanced vision is exceptional. Second, the type of stereoscopic vision in mantises is different. Humans will still perceive two still images with minor differences as a single three-dimensional image thanks to stereoscopic vision. But mantises have movement-dependent stereoscopic vision. Moving object image information is turned into a three-dimensional image, while non-moving objects are passed over. Research into how mantises see has involved placing tiny 3D glasses over their eyes, allowing scientists to calculate their perceptual abilities with movies featuring prey species. Number 4. They are related to termites and cockroaches Praying mantises seem to be in a class of their own. But they are related to cockroaches and termites. Mantises belong to the order Mantidae, and cockroaches and termites to the order Blattidae. Both are placed within the superorder Dictyopera, which translates to net wings in English terminology. The creatures might be on opposite ends of the human respect spectrum, but the physiological relations are certainly there thanks to the distinctive net wing anatomy of the different but strongly related groups. Number 3. They Go Fishing The Journal of Orthoptera Research published accounts of a praying mantis mantis collecting guppies speared fishermen style from a small water body before somewhat grotesquely devouring them. Lead study author Roberto Batterston, an Italian entomologist, noted the fishing mantis story. When study co-author Nivek Manjanath sent photos depicting a giant Asian mantis male eating fish images taken originally by conservationist Rajesh Putswamiya. He had come across these incidents of fish predation at a pond. The study co-authors monitored the ponds for further predation attempts, discovering that multiple hunts were taking place with successful results for the hungry mantis. The fishing trips served as evidence for the ability of mantises to learn to innovate as they hunt food. Number 2. They Inspired Kung Fu Some of the most interesting Chinese Kung Fu movies from Shandong Province in northern China and a different form of Kung Fu from the Hakka people of southern China draw directly from the praying mantis species commonly found in China, the graceful but ferocious Chinese mantis. The origin of seven-star praying mantis Kung Fu is with Shaolin Kung Fu student Wang Long from the 17th century. He had been in serious competition with his elder, Monk Feng, who always outsparred him in practice sessions. Wanting to improve his kung fu skills, he gained valuable insights from the insect world that would add greatly to the kung fu repertoire. Feng had gone traveling around China over a period of three years, during which time Wong witnessed a successful attack on a cicada insect by a mantis, which used its agility and fierce strikes to take it down. Wong didn't just watch, he then did battle with the mantis itself with a stick and was impressed with the counter-strikes. The mantis's behavior was observed and then translated into closely matched human fighting moves by the attentive Wong. Wong then categorized the required arm movements into 12 character principles. Combining footwork inspired with monkeys, Wong easily beat Feng upon his return. Number 1. They are named after prophets So what does the generally used name praying mantis mean anyway? Well, the common descriptive name has a two-part meaning. Praying refers to the folding forearms of a mantis lying in wait for prey, which resembles a person in an act of prayer. The aggressive nature of the insects often results in the name being misconstrued as praying mantis with an E, but that is incorrect. 
The terms mantid and mantis originate from Greek. Mantikos is the Greek word for a prophet or soothsayer. The Greek root name was selected by German Argentine zoologist Karl Hermann Konrad Burmeister in 1838. The insects have been assigned special powers in a number of traditional societies, enjoying a level of respect seldom conferred by humans onto an insect. The Latin name of the European mantis, Mantis religiosa, is a further testament to the spiritual perception of these special creatures. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe when you're subscribing. Smash that notification bell. Also, I've got a podcast. It's a sort of fact-based thing in a more casual style like podcasts are. If you search brain food, one word, wherever you get your podcasts, you will find it. And as always, thank you for watching.